So during Team Avatar's time in the Fire Nation, they came across a fellow Southern Water Tribe member named Hama. They eventually discovered that she had found a new and inhumane form of waterbending named bloodbending, and was using it to capture and torture innocent Fire Nation citizens for revenge. Thankfully she was captured and put away in Fire Nation prison. But that's not the end of her story. After the end of the Hundred Year War, Hama's imprisonment turned into a huge controversy and almost sparked a new war. So hit the subscribe button and let's break down the story. As soon as Hama was imprisoned by the Fire Nation for capturing all of those helpless citizens, they discovered her bloodbending ability and worked tirelessly to prevent her from using it to escape again. The Fire Lord himself was quickly informed about the ability and likely placed the harshest conditions of any person on the world on Hama. She was literally one of the most dangerous in the world, so those conditions were necessary according to the Fire Lord at the time, Ozai. Skipping ahead to the end of the war, as a gesture of peace and goodwill, the new Fire Lord Zuko freed all Water Tribe and Earth Kingdom prisoners from his facilities, but with one exception, Hama. Hama was considered a special case for the Fire Nation due to her extremely harmful bloodbending skills and the pain she had caused to the innocent citizens. Because of this, Zuko refused to release her from Fire Nation prison. This caused huge anger in the Water Tribes though because they saw every waterbender prisoner as a wrongful prisoner, especially in Hama's case because she was captured in the first Fire Nation raids at the start of the war. Obviously, Zuko didn't want this to spill over into a diplomatic incident between two countries, so eventually he gave in, hoping to avoid another war between the two. Zuko agreed to hand Hama back to the Southern Water Tribe, but only on the very strict condition that she never again leave the capital, Wolf Cove. Now, you would think that this little situation was over by this point, but unfortunately, once news of her release spread through the Fire Nation, very angry war veterans from the old Fire Nation army were furious and set out to recapture Hama on her way back to the Water Tribe. As a result, the convoy carrying her from prison to the Fire Nation port was attacked many many times, and Hama even said to those guarding her that she was ready to fight back and kill anyone who came after her. And currently that's where her story ends. Although, I have a feeling that this isn't the last event in her timeline. We'll have to see how she might connect to Yukon and his later use of bloodbending. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button and leave a like down below. Thanks so much for watching guys, really hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.